Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to go through split jerks and a few common cues and some easy things you can integrate into your training that can make a big difference to your split jerk. The first one is I just wanna address the importance of general training when you're performing a split jerk. A lot of the things that we wanna see in a split jerk are gonna be underpinned by general qualities. Yes, you can spend a lot of time working on mobility by just doing the actual exercise, but ultimately I've never really seen someone transform the way they move just by performing the lifts themselves. You're gonna to want to practice some additional things to really develop and work on that overhead position. Some of those things that you can integrate might be side bending, rolling on the ground in like an arm bar cross and stack, or just training your shoulders in various positions. All of those things are gonna result in a better split jerk. As far as the specific cues, if you're someone who's been told that you don't finish your drive and you tend to short step your jerks and you can't step out enough, you might find thinking about shrugging or flicking your traps as a useful cue. This is something that Chris Speed recently reminded me of that I actually had in my toolbox for cues and that is flick your traps. He spoke about shrugging and creating a bit of a shrugging action for the jerk. If you can think about when you do your dip and drive, you're going to exaggerate that follow through and perhaps thinking about flicking those traps really aggressively to follow through where a lot of people tend to just split under the bar too early. The next piece is elbows dropping when you're going for your split jerk. So if you're someone who tends to miss the bar forward or you tend to press your jerks out, you might wanna take a look at this in your own lifting where as you go for your dip and drive, if you find when you perform your dip, your elbows will actually drop as you go and press. You might just be in a position that you can't maintain when you try and make your arms float overhead or you might just wanna try and play around with different grips. So you might wanna try and take on a more open grip rather than a really closed grip where you might be death gripping the bar. If you're someone who tends to press early and drop the elbows, you might wanna think about relaxing your hands and exaggerating the drive out of your legs. A lot of people who tend to have their elbows drop when they go for a jerk are usually people who tend to wanna to stiffen up through their shoulders and arms and press early. What you're probably seeing in a lot of your lifting then, if you, this person is someone who has really slow dip and drive and the bar speed's pretty consistent from here to overhead, you don't really see that explosiveness like you would see in a proper push press or power jerk where the bar just accelerates so fast as it pops off your shoulders. Hopefully those cues are helpful and you can integrate them into your training. Try and think about the general qualities that underpin the split jerk and how you can develop that. But ultimately, start by thinking about flicking your traps and exaggerating that drive, perhaps shrugging when you're going for your split jerks, and then try and relax your grip when you're going for those heavier weights. 